Hello, everyone. Welcome to RGB Link YouTube channel. This is Luke.、Um, well, it has been a long time since my、uh, I post my last videos.、Uh, the truth is, I actually did、uh, a little bit troubling. I was at the ISE 2005.、Uh, it was a great show.、Uh, I got to meet a lot of you at RGB Link booth to talk about、uh, our new products,、uh, new solutions, and new. Much, especially to talk about mini ISO, and、um, I'm glad.、Uh, well, the mini ISO and it's well received, and I'm glad、uh, many people liked it.、And、we actually did more demos of the, its functions at Magic、uh, Mini Boost.、Um, so、uh, since I'm back, I decided to do more videos、uh, to, to do. Deep dive to mini ISO's functionality and its performance. Okay, so、uh, these videos we actually gonna、uh, talk about how you can take full advantage of mini ISO's ten channels video inputs and、uh, with talk cloud. And、uh, so with talk cloud, you can actually do a more intuitive. Easier way to configure and、uh, to use these ten channels inputs during your live streamings, during your live events, and,、uh, for your content creations.、Okay. So let's go to my mini ISO right here.、Okay. Uh, I have connect four SDI sources and four HDMI sources, as well as one UVC input and one NDI input. So that's the ten channels which is currently connected,、um, which are connected to the mini ISO right here.、Okay. So on my mini ISO, you can see the previews、uh, of five of those、uh, video inputs. Okay, HDMI one to four, and the fifth channel is NDI signals.、Okay. So if I would like to switching from、uh, HDMI to SDI for any of these four channels. I have to go to the menu, go to inputs, and set that each channel to the switching. Okay, and、uh, of course it works, and、uh, you, you will get a similar switchings from HDMI to SDI. However, is there any more intuitive and easier way to do it and,、uh, to save you a lot of? Operations, a lot of pressings on the menus right here, so you don't have、uh, save you a lot of times during streaming, making things easier. Okay, of course, and、uh, don't forget that we have our powerful tool, Tau Clouds. Okay, so、uh, let's go to my Tau Cloud right edges right here. Okay. So you can see、uh, the top cloud pages of Mini ISO has been upgraded. Now you can see more informations and there are more sub pages right here. So the basic functions, layer selection, creations,、uh, output, input settings, and recording settings, streaming settings, and、uh, the basic settings for network, band, and the T bar. Let's go back to the main information、uh, right here. Okay.、Uh, again, uh, if you having trouble connecting your mini ISO or any any other your mini series to the top clouds,、uh, go back to my previous previous videos to check about how to do it.、Okay. So if you scrolling down to the bottom page of the basic information, you will see a. Uh, your your mini ISO right here as、uh, previews of its front panels, okay, and、uh, ten buttons for signal selections, okay.、Uh, let's start with、uh, the ten buttons right here. So the ten buttons corresponding to the HDMI one, two, three, four, and NDI sources. As well as SDI one to four and UVC sources. Okay, so using those、uh, buttons, 
the 10 buttons, you were able to do signal selections between HDMI and SDI and NDI and the UVC for each individual channels from channel 1 to channel 5. Okay. And uh, let's see, let's, uh, let me queue up, queue out my previews, uh, multi view of my mini ISO so we can see uh, more clearly how, how this works with these 10 buttons for signals, selections, for channels. Okay. So we can see uh, the HDMI 1, 2, 4 and NDI is highlighted. So currently you can see uh, the, uh, the five channels, uh, five signals we are using uh, HDMI 1, 2, 4 and NDI sources. Okay. Let's say I, let's, let's try to switching uh, from HDMI to SDIs for each channels. How does uh, how my mini SO I'll react when I'm, I'm operating on the top one. Okay. So just simply press SDI here, SDI 2, 3, and 4. Okay, you will see how the my preview, uh, the multi view changes uh, the signal uh, 1 to 4, uh, changes from HDMI to SDI. Okay. And we can also always change it back. Okay. Depending on which signals you want to choose, which channels, uh, which signals you want to use uh, for each channels. Okay, you can do just press one button, and you can see the responding time is almost zero on top clouds. Okay, and it's, it's instant reactions on my mini ISO. Okay, thank you. And especially for NDI and the UV switching, so I can switch from NDI source to UV channel. Okay. It's gonna take a little bit, like two seconds, for decoding. Okay. Right now, you can see my NDI camera right here. Uh, sorry, my UVC camera right here. Small one. Okay, right here, and uh, I can do it anytime for the ten channels switching. Okay. So this is how uh, the 10 channel selections were uh, right here on the top cloud works. Okay. It's much better and uh, very intuitive and the fast response and uh, compared to what you, what you do on mini ISO from panel. So personally, uh, this will be my choices of how to operate my mini ISO. I, want, I would love to do it on, on my top cloud. And uh, right here on the, the, the overview of your mini ISO, okay, you will see the 10 buttons again, one to five, one to five here. Okay. Uh, it's just the same as the mini ISO on the mini ISO devices. Okay. Uh, using these 10 buttons to do uh, well, signal switchings uh, for, your, for your preview and uh, for your uh, programs. And uh, you can you have you have you had to notice uh, this uh, small monitor here. It's actually the monitor of your program outputs on top parts. Okay, so so while you're doing switchings, you can actually see the the pro uh, the program uh, on your top part, which will be uh, the content you're streaming to all the content you are recording right now. Okay, so I try to do some switchings. For preview and programs on right here okay so i can do signals one two three four or five for my programs okay? and uh, now the bottom rows of the, the one to five it's for previews psd okay that's one two three you can selecting your signals. Of course, if you want to do a cut or uh, switchings from the previews to your uh, program, also works. Okay, and do direct cut. Okay. It will be just the same uh, doing this operation on your mini ISO or your on your, your, your on your uh, hot clock counts. Okay, seamless, uh, almost zero latencies. More intuitive way 
Well, you can actually see a previews of you know, your programs on Minimax. Okay. So uh, that's how you do it uh, on Tau Cloud to do everything. And I would say as it's very intuitive and uh, responding time, the reaction time on Tau Cloud to your minutes out, so it's almost zero latencies. And the good thing is you got a similar preview. Uh, that's what I loved about uh, the Tau Cloud platforms. I, can, I don't have to install a software and I just log into my account anywhere on any platforms and on my computers, on my Android, on my ISO. Anyway, just log in the, the web browsers, uh, the cloud browser, cloud platform, and I can do the post right here on the top cloud. Okay? So that's all for today's videos, and uh, we're gonna do more as I uh, as I mentioned, uh, deep dive on your on the ISO, and uh, stay stay tuned for our channels, and I'm gonna bring more interesting and. Fun contents for you. Thank you for watching. Uh, as always, subscribe, share, and like our channels, and we're gonna bring you more contents. Thank you.